Hello, everybody. Really quickly, if you haven't picked up your team photos, Mr. Lou Goodrum over here is here ready for you to pick up your photos. Same thing with certificates, they're at the entrance. And also, I just got word, final tabulations are happening, everything is in, so now we're just waiting. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everybody. It's on. Oh, the internet? Oh, I see. Before we get started, we do have uh, three teams that have not yet picked up their team photographs. You can send somebody up to get your team picture if you want right now. Amarillo, Lamar, and Regent School of Austin. Your pictures are up here with Big Lou. It's hard to miss. He's right over there. Are we good, Melissa? Thank you. Welcome to the 44th Annual Texas High School Mock Trial State Championship Awards Luncheon. Thank you guys for being here. Before we get started, there's some folks that I want to introduce to you and thank for doing what they do. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is I want all of y'all to stand up and applaud your coaches and teachers and parents. This year we had 150 or 160 teams register for high school mock trial. So there's around 140 that aren't here. So you guys ought to be very happy that you are here. Some folks I want to introduce to you at the head table here, the co-chair of the committee, Taylor Robertson. Co-Vice Chairs, Allison Rapond. <laughs> Jessica Alexander. <laughs> Brad Johnson. <laughs> Kevin Anders. <laughs> and Jamie Olin. Just and also a big shout out to my very good friend who always catches me in the most flattering photos, obviously. Big Lou has been doing this for 20 years. You guys ready for the announcement of the final four? Uh, too bad, you're going to have to wait. So uh, at this time, I usually tell a couple of jokes, but I decided I wanted to come big. So I looked up the best joke ever told. Scientifically, in 2002, a Swedish group of researchers polled 2 million people with about 30,000 jokes to see what the funniest joke ever told was. And I'm going to tell you that joke right now. It's scientific, the funniest joke ever told. And it needs a drum roll. Two guys are out hunting. Thank you. Two guys are out hunting, and one of the guys grabs his chest and falls to the ground. And his friend grabs his phone, and he calls 911, and he says, help, my friend has fallen down. He's, he's ill. There's something wrong with him. What do I do? And the 911 operator says, well, first of all, are you sure he's dead? There's a silence and then a bang. And the guy comes back and says, yeah, what next? Scientifically, the funniest joke ever. And you can't argue with the science. It is now my privilege to introduce to you, our, to introduce to you a speaker, uh, Cheryl Kamen Murray. Cheryl is a partner at the Dallas firm of Catton, Munchen, and Rosenman. She's a recognized leader in healthcare regulation and compliance law. She's a graduate with honors at the University of Houston School of Law. She also carries a master's in public health. She is a D Magazine super lawyer and a whole lot of other things that if I kept going would be here for a long time. She is the 114th president of the Dallas Bar Association. 
the largest and best local bar association in the United States, and she is my friend, Cheryl Murray. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are so proud of all of you and just so honored to have you at the Dallas Bar Association headquarters for the Texas Mock Trial Competition. And we are delighted to have this award ceremony honoring all of you. And as Steve mentioned, it is a very special year for the Dallas Bar. It is the 150th anniversary. So we are so excited and excited that you all are participating with us in, in honoring the Dallas Bar. We want to give you a little bit of history about our organization. We have approximately 11,500 attorneys who are members and very active. Our members use this building, the Arts District Mansion, every day to host their committee meetings and sections and do great work, as well as organizing events like the mock trial competition. The Dallas Bar Association has been administering this competition for 44 years, since 1979, so much longer than most of you are old. And we've actually been hosting the artwork competition for the courtroom artist competition for seven years. So if you haven't had a chance to take a look at the fantastic art out there, please do. It's just absolutely incredible. And this competition has had, over the years, approximately 500,000 students involved. So it's something that's a big part of the Dallas Bar, and we are just so delighted to continue, continue this going forward every year. This is, again, due in large part to our fantastic committee. I just want to once again acknowledge quickly those that are so involved and lead our mock trial organization and program, and that includes, of course, Steve Gwen. Let's give Steve a huge round of applause. He really is. He really is the heart of this program. In addition, this year, leading the charge, we also have, of course, Jessica Alexander, Brad Johnson, Jamie Olin, Allison Rapon, Kevin Anders, Natalie Weissen, Derek Mergle Rust, and Taylor Robinson. So again, thank you to all of you that are here. I just want to give you another round of applause for all your incredible work. I also want to do a big thank you to Melissa Garcia, our DBA director of the, mock, the high school mock trial competition. She's in the back. Huge round of applause. Melissa, please wave in the red shirt. She really is what makes this program so successful every year. Thank you so much, Melissa. And a big shout out to our other DBA professionals that are involved in here today, Nadina Hinojosa and Barry Avina, I believe, may both be here, but we appreciate them, and Liz Hayden as well for all of their hard work. We just know it takes a village, and the DBA professionals are really the heart of this organization. We also are very appreciative to those that provide financial support to this competition, and that includes the Dallas Bar Foundation, as well as individual members of our bar, which also include Tom Gornson, Taylor Rex Robertson, and Steve Gwynn. So if members of the foundation or those that I just named wouldn't mind just doing a quick stand again, want to help you, want to thank you for your great financial support. <laughs> and again, very importantly, we want to thank the parents who are so involved and encouraging of their students' participation in this great program as well as the, hundred, the attorneys, the many, many attorneys who are the coaches, advisors, listening ears for all of you, and the judges who judge and also provide the courtroom for this program. All of you are really what make this happen, and we just can't thank you enough for your involvement. And to the students, we just want to say, that the confidence that you have acquired and your outstanding presentation skills, as well as your incredible polish, will take you so far in your academic journey and as far as you want to take it and, and extremely far in any profession that you pick, which I hope is the practice of law. But this is going to take you so far. I, I believe that what you're going through right now can be life-changing, really. 
And we know that this mock trial experience has played an important part in whatever future you pick for yourself. So the world is your oyster. And with that, congratulations to each and every one of you for your participation. You are all winners, and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Okay, what do we got next? Thank you, Cheryl. Appreciate that. Uh, and again, the program is in such good hands with Melissa. It wouldn't exist without Melissa. She's, uh, she's huge, and uh, she takes care of so much stuff. You guys, when you graduate law school and get a job as a lawyer in Dallas, join this committee, and you can see what all goes into it. At this point, I would like to uh, call up Brad Johnson to do the uh, team recognition for each of the teams. And Brad has a very specific way he does this. Okay. Well, never let a lawyer get hold of a microphone because he's going to talk. Um, before I recognize all these high schools, uh, I, I just want to tell what I've told several of the students already. What you guys owe us is when you become famous lawyers, you got to come back and do this. So, number of high schools here today, uh, and I will lead off by apologizing to Amarillo High School for spelling your name wrong in the program. Uh, but what we're going to do is recognize each one of them. Each one of you deserves a standing ovation. But we need to get out of here. So what we're going to do is I will say the name of the school, and you will give one clap. All right? So we're going to practice with Amarillo since they're first on the list. Amarillo High School. You got it. <laughs> Bishop Lynch High School. Booker T. Washington High School for the Performing and Visual Arts. <laughs> Covenant Classical School. Please tell me if I say this wrong. Duchenne, Academy of the Sacred Heart. Franklin High School. Frisco CTE Center. Henderson High School. Incarnate Word Academy, Judge Barefoot Sanders Law Magnet, Lamar Academy, Lubbock High School, Plano West Senior High School, Porter High School, Providence Classical School, Regent School of Austin, School for the Talented and Gifted, Sherryland, Sherryland High School, Southwest Austin Mock Trial. Talkington School for Young Women Leaders. Tivy High School. Did I say that one right? Tivy. I had two chances and I, I guessed wrong. Vanguard College Preparatory School. Veritas Classical Academy. And Woodrow Wilson High School. Like I said, you all deserve a standing ovation, but good for you. <laughs> okay. Now we got some awards to hand out, but first I'm going to take you back in time. Did you really just awe? <laughs> have to be kidding me. Jessica's ready to come up here. I've got all kinds of crap. Um, last year I told a bunch of uh, art jokes that uh, I guess people had a hard time picturing them uh, <laughs> because art apparently is no joking matter. Physics, on the other hand, there is only one electricity detective. His name is Sherlock Holmes. Two, two atoms are walking down the street. 
One of them looks and says, I've lost an, elect an electron. The other one says, are you sure? And the first one says, yes, I'm positive. Um, all bad light ends up in a prism. I, question, does a radioactive cat have 18 half-lives? Anything that doesn't matter has no mass. Yeah, these are actually worse than the chemistry jokes. And these are actually the good ones. I, you know, in college I took a chemistry class that was so hard I couldn't even find the classroom. Um, what is the most important rule in chemistry, anybody know? Don't lick the spoon, right? <laughs> Oxygen and potassium went on a date, it was okay. Um, <laughs> see, they, these have to be bad jokes because all the good ones are gone. If H2O is water, is the chemical compound for ice H2O cubed? <laughs> cubed. See, what, with some of these jokes, you need to put that in your pocket, and when you get home later on today, you'll have a treat. Uh, the optimist sees the glass as half full. The pessimist sees the glass as half empty. The chemist sees the glass as completely full, half in a liquid state and half in a gaseous state. I love telling chemistry jokes, but I only do it periodically. Okay. Yeah, that's the last one. Sorry. <laughs> one of these years, it's not going to be the last one. Okay. Uh, at this point, I would like to call up Jessica Alexander, who is going to present the Judy Yarbrough Team Professionalism Award. Hello, I apologize for the jokes. I did try to come give out an award instead. You guys saw that, right? Okay, so um, every year we give out a team professionalism award. Professionalism is, of course, one of the highest duties we have as an attorney. Um, and that was the special blue form you guys filled out after round four. This is the award that is voted on by you and awarded by you. Um, it is named after Judy Yarbrough, who helped start the mock trial um, competition program and served as state coordinator for over 30 years. So the winner of this award is going to get this beautiful three-foot wooden gavel that you may have been scoping out the front of the room. I think it's the coolest award by far that we hand out. <laughs> Do you want me to hold it? It's a little heavy. Um, last year we had a tie. This year we did not have a tie. We have one winner who gets to take home the gavel. And that winner this year is Covenant Classical School. And, and while they're claiming their gavel, I will just say every team received at least one vote this year, which we were really thrilled to see. Um, that means that everyone is acting with professionalism in the way we expect you to, so good job. Congratulations, you guys. The, oh, Covenant Classical, um, I have a total possible 16 votes. They received 13. Um, <laughs> so at this time, I'm going to introduce Allison Rapond, who is going to hand out our next award. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I have the honor of presenting the uh, Best Courtroom Artist Award, which is my favorite award because that is the thing I absolutely cannot do. 
Uh, but seeing all of your work, uh, it's, it's just been the best year we've had, truly. Uh, just some very impressive work from our artists. Uh, the Courtroom Artist Competition is a newer uh, component of the high school mock trial competition. It's been around for seven years. We have competed as the state of Texas all seven years, and we have won nationals in five of those seven years. And the one year we didn't, with the exception of the first year, we came in second. So we consistently have not just the best artists in the state of Texas in this room, but the best artists in the country. And we have, yeah, please. <laughs> so we, we are lucky enough to have a, a real working artist uh, judge our competition every year, and that is Mrs. Barbara Armstrong. She has been working as an artist for uh, since 1995. She got her degree in uh, fine arts. She also has 20 years of experience judging art competitions, including uh, judging our uh, Texas artist competition. She uh, also teaches art at El Centro College, and she has a very strict rubric that she follows. And she said this year was the hardest year for her to decide a winner. She, she also said this was the best year she's seen. She could not be here today, but she wants to pass on her compliments to the group. She was exceedingly impressed. And our judges, after we got the art yesterday, they were all impressed. They were all looking. Uh, we had to get them to focus back on their ballots and finish their ballots because they wanted to spend time looking at the incredible artwork we had today. So first, I want to go ahead and recognize the 14 artists we had compete in our courtroom artist competition. So if you will all stand up so we can give you your recognition. <laughs> And now, I, everyone was amazing, but I have the honor of announcing our top three artists, starting with our third place artist, Ms. Ariel Herrera from Richardson High School. Yeah, if you want to come up. Congratulations, Ariel. Our second place artist, Isabella Collins from Incarnate Word. Congratulations. And our winner, who we are honored to have represent the state of Texas at Nationals in Little Rock later this year in April, right? April? That's when uh, Nationals Mother's are? Day weekend. Mother's Day weekend in May, excuse me. Jackie Wheeler from Booker <laughs> T. Washington. And with that, I'm going to pass things over to Taylor Robertson, who's going to present our Witness and Advocate Awards. Hey, just, just remember those come apart. Just remember those things come apart, yeah. All right. I'm doing Witness first, yep. Okay, well, if you guys think sitting through those jokes are bad, you're not the one he tests them on, so. Speaking of being a witness to a crime, we have a great award for some witnesses here. Each uh, of our outstanding witness and advocate, the two winners will receive a $1,000 scholarship apiece, which is sponsored by the very handsome Steve Gwynn and the more handsome Taylor Rex Robertson. As you guys know, the qualification criteria, if you compete in one of these roles a single round, you must take all three ballots. 
And if you compete in more than one, you must take at least two in one of those rounds. I'm going to first read our, um, the people who have qualified, the students for Outstanding Witness, and then I will announce the winner, and then the same for the advocate. We can just kind of give a quick applause for those. I'm gonna read those in no particular order. So starting with Outstanding Witness, from Duchenne Academy, Charlotte Waltermeyer. <laughs> from the Regents School of Austin, Adelaide Cowden. From Covenant Classical, Jonathan Fredericks. From Woodrow Wilson, Tyler Joplin. From Franklin High School, Millie Quinlan. From Frisco CTE, Esha Bandy. From Henderson High School, Emery Chenault. From Amarillo, Channing Stone. From Southwest Austin Mock Trial, Dane Miley. From Lamar Academy, Isabel Guerra. And from the Incarnate Word Academy, Emily Elliott. And your winner of this year's Outstanding Witness Award at the state competition, Emery Chenault. All right, congratulations. All right, let's move on to Outstanding Advocate. Again, in no particular order. From TAG, Karina Caballero. From Booker T. Washington, Isabel Gameros. From Sherryland High School, Sarah Sines. From Talkington, Amaya Salter. From the Law Magnet, Ari Arceo. From Southwest Austin, Gabriella Lovins. From Plano West, Hananiah Zia. From Franklin High School, Lainey Stokes. From Duchenne, Megan Toussaint. From Covenant Classical, Sophia Foster. From Porter High School, Coral Newsom. Yeah! From Providence Classical, Mark Williamson. And finally, from Covenant Classical, Jonathan Fredericks. And your winner the Outstanding Advocate Award at the state competition, Sophia Foster.
Congratulations, Sophia. All right, Big Lou says all the pictures will be on Facebook, whatever that is, um, for you guys later tonight. Sophia, I do think you should probably apologize to your good friend, Jonathan. I think we should take a second to recognize Jonathan was nominated and qualified for both the Outstanding Witness and the Outstanding Advocate Award, taking nine of 12 total ballots. So you should blame Sophia for that. All right, and now the time you guys have all been waiting for. Let's welcome Steve Gwynn back, and we will start the countdown from 10 to 4. 10 to 5, with the final four. At this time, if you are judging in the semifinal or final round, I'd ask you to leave this room. Do we have anybody that we invited in for this? No, just people on the committee. Let's see. Do you know why hippopotamus are so good at hiding in... <laughs> Why you never see a hippo hiding in a tree? Because they're really good at it. A hippo, a hippo can run faster than you on land and it can swim faster than you in the water. What that means is your only chance to beat them in a triathlon is on the bicycle. So, um, we're going to announce the uh, top 10, well, five through 10 starting at 10. These are the honorable mentions. Uh, these, again, everybody in this competition has done very, very well. You've all acquitted yourselves tremendously well. Nothing but gushing, glowing reports from all of our judges. Uh, 10th place team, the Judge Barefoot Sanders Law Magnet. We have a plaque if you want to come. Oh, they're right here. They're, they're right here. Okay. Ninth place, Franklin High School. And while they're coming up, I will let you know that this year in the 48 trials we had in the preliminary competition, we had 25 verdicts one way and 23 the other. So we're real happy with the balance of the case. In eighth place, Plano West High School.
your feet closer to the floor. Put your feet closer to the floor. Thank you, guys. Seventh place, Veritas Academy. Sixth place, Duchenne Academy. Fifth place, Providence Classical School. Okay. I think they want more jokes. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to announce the, the top four, the final four. Melissa, where do you want them to gather? Because we're on two different floors, right? So how about the central jury room? Okay. These four teams will go back to the courthouse, gather in the central jury room. There we'll meet with you and, and tell you which courtroom you are in and which side you will be seeing, et cetera. Uh, these are in no particular order. If, uh, if, your name, if you're not one of these four teams, go ahead and stay seated so they can get out and back over to the courthouse so we can get started as quickly as possible. We'll do that over there. Frisco CTE. <laughs> Woodrow Wilson High School. Covenant Classical School. And Booker T. Washington. Thank you guys very much. Congratulations to all of you. You've done spectacular work. See you soon.